Hi guys, in today's video, we are going to discuss about how to use the Lex in the contact flow. Okay, so if we go back to our call flows, right? Uh, so this was the call flow we created in the video number one or tutorial or chapter number one. And this, uh, uh, we have already created the prompt, which is in the previous video. Now what we will do is we will create the Lex integration. Why we need a Lex? Because over here, uh, we are talking about capturing the get customer input and what exactly is intent right so i will go over here i put the get customer input and i will say how can i assist you and now i will go to the amazon lex and select the bot but we don't have any bot right so what i will do is i will go to the lex and i will select this one okay now over here it says get started i will click over there and uh, both v1 and v2 versions are supported right now we have open into v1 oh, sorry v2 i will go to back to the v1 uh, just to show how to create in the v1 and then i think i can create one more with the v2 okay now i will create a bot let's say main menu intents something like that i'm just giving any random name okay language let's say it's us uh, name voice can be hello joey. my name is joey okay so his name is joey uh okay we have created so what i will do is i uh, will create the intent but i have already created few intents uh, which were required just to save the time so the simple process is click on create time uh, create intent or let's create a one more for you so let's create something called fallback okay i will click on add and i will add address something like blah none whatever something like that so this is just to <clears throat> uh <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, this is just to do a fallback. Okay. Uh, what I will do is I will also import the booking. So in the booking, I have given like need to book a COVID test, uh, RT-PCR test, and all those things. I will also import the India status, uh, like what is India COVID status, and all those things, and also the talk to agent. Okay. So all these are added. I will click on save and click on build. Okay, so this may take take a little bit of time. Okay, so almost build is done. Okay, let's do a little bit test. Like none should go to fallback and uh, what is that? India status should trigger India status. Okay, now what we will do is we have to first integrate this. Uh, uh, what do you say? Lex into our uh, Amazon Connect instance. So for that, uh, we will go to our Amazon Connect instance, go to the contact flow, okay? And over here, select the bot which you have created. So this is the one which we created and click on add Amazon Lex. Now, if you go back to your contact flow, right? Uh, not sure it will come directly. Yeah, it is here. So you can see that now we can see the, our Lex over here. Now, what will be the next step? We have added, uh, bot or the lex to our uh, get customer input now what we have to do is what to do once user says those things right so let's say talk to agent we'll add talk to agent we will add india status so we are just adding the intent name and remember that these are case sensitive so whenever you add it right uh, make sure that uh, the the wording is exactly the same do we need fallback uh, okay, let's add it okay so i have added all this thing over here click on save okay now what i want to do is play a prompt right uh, let's say if it is a talk to agent then i will do like intent was talk 
to agent okay let's copy this thing just to save time another one pull over here go and it was India status and another one will be booking uh, talk to agent no it was a booking booking RT PCR it's a okay so now we have a fallback so what mean by fallback fallback is it does not trigger any of the intent right so let's go over here and we'll go to something called in the branch loop okay so how many retries we want to do if it is less than two okay so less than two so means once so actually let's keep it like this two retries we will give okay and everything should come over here and then uh, okay so this was some previous one okay and we want to play a prompt right retry prompt so go over here add a retry prompt save looping will go over here once the loop is completed no not before completed so this will go over here and if the loop is completed let's say two retry we have given max retry we have reached we will go to there uh, i think yeah that's all is required just looking making it a little bit prettier and we will connect click on save and click on and click on yeah, and click on publish okay just to test if it is working fine or not let's go back to our dashboard click on dashboard so you should see once it opens okay so it has open click on test chat okay let me expand the screen and go to test settings and it's already main menu ivr and we we'll click apply and it should start the bot for you why is taking ages Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Is my net slow? Okay, is it recording? Okay, it's a little bit slow. It's taking ages. Customer has joined finally one step ahead and we got the response. How can I assist you? Let's say I want to know COVID status. Please don't take ages. Okay, so we got the response uh just checking it is recording yeah uh intent was india status that is what we have given like uh, for the covid status india covid status right uh so yeah that is what we have uh over here uh how to integrate with the legs how to get the intent uh do we have any use case where we are capturing the slot also yeah we have so over here we will use display how to use the slot so that will be part of the second uh, or come upcoming videos as always like and subscribe uh, thank you